so this is Ragman's Lane Farm. This is our some of our orchards here, and uh, we the way that we manage the orchards is that we don't spray with antibiotic materials. So we don't use copper or sulfate um, to suppress disease. What we do is we actually use a probiotic approach, which is um, primarily we started off using aerobic compost teas. Uh, that was about five years ago and four years ago. And then three years ago, we started using biofertilizer um, as a way to apply fertility to the orchard as a foliar spray. Okay, so what is biofertilizer? Um, what we try and do is we've done a soil analysis of the orchard and we realize that it's low on certain nutrients, micronutrients like selenium and molybdenum. And these mineral deficiencies is actually what's holding the orchard back from being productive. So with biofertilizer, what you do is you create an anaerobic ferment, normally in a, in a, in a blue barrel, and into it you put um, cow manure, which is to inoculate the material with active bacteria and microbiology. Uh, and then we also put uh, sugar, normally in the, in the form of molasses, into the barrel yeast, rock dust, uh, and, and water, uh, milk or whey, if you can get hold of that. And this creates an anaerobic ferment and the bacteria that are in the cow's stomach um, become active and they, they, they reproduce. And those bacteria mimic the action of uh, the pockets of anaerobic soil that you get. So soil has aerobic pockets and anaerobic po pockets. And actually, the deeper down in the soil where it's meeting bedrock is where you get a lot of anaerobic action, action in soils. And that's where um, the biology is almost like scavenging the minerals from the geology and bringing it into the soils and then out into the living system. So what we're trying to do is, is we're trying to uh, recreate that natural system uh, and so within our biofertilizer brew um, the the amoeba and the protozoa and the flagellates and the, all the different microbes are all working away and as they uh, go through their life cycle which for some bacteria is about 20 minutes so they'll sort of double every 20 minutes uh, they're they're changing the electrical um, configuration of these minerals. So we can put in, for instance, our orchard here is really low on molybdenum. So we can put molybdenum sulfate into this barrel of <coughs> bubbling cow shit. Uh, and uh, the molybdenum will, will work its way through the generations of bacteria uh, and they will change its electrical configuration so it's, it'll become something that's called chelated. It'll be more readily available for the plant. Um, and after a, a month's fermentation, we can then use that biofertilizer as a spray on the orchards. Uh, so we're balancing up the minerals that we need and we, we're creating a, a complete smorgasbord for the plants to, to sort of dine on from the foliar spray that we're putting on, which then that's, that's the equivalent of the probiotic approach. It's a bit like eating um, probiotic yogurt. You're coating the tree in, in a whole series of things which um, are going to help it fight uh, disease, it's going to help it fight pests, uh, uh, and it's also going to turbocharge its photosynthesis. So it's going to be able to photosynthesize much more efficiently because it's got all the tools in the kit that it needs. And once trees start to really photosynthesize efficiently, um, A, the yield goes up, the quality of the fruit goes up, the, the fruit lasts for longer, because it's got a high bricks content. Uh, and, um, but the, the other really funky thing that's happening is that the tree is actually sweating out the excess carbohydrates that it's creating. And it's feeding the soil so that the soil becomes richer in colloidal material and soil carbon and all the stuff that we're worried about soils about. So there you are, you got it. You've got a, a healthy uh, increased crop uh, and it, you're regenerating your soils at the same time. Okay, so uh, this is the laboratory. <laughs> uh, uh, and this is where Juan Fran Lopez, who who's, uh, does our research at Ragman's, 
is working. And you can see there are various, there's big barrels of um, the base of biofertilizers. So this is cow manure and whey and uh, yeast and water. And, and what we can do with, with this base mixture is we can take smaller barrels of it and we can introduce um, potassium or molybdenum or um, selenium. So we can balance up different um, types of spray that we need for different soils. Okay, So it does become a slightly scientific when, when we start applying it like this. Also in different barrels we've got... Um, uh, don't know what that is. Uh, in, in here there's a native microbe mix. So this is microbes. Uh, this is collected from the forest floor. Uh, and it, we we mix them up with molasses, and, the, and then we put it into a, an anaerobic environment. And basically, the, the the microbes reproduce and reproduce, and then they go into a dormancy. But it smells amazingly. Um, it's quite yeasty, and it's it smells. It's got a sort of bread-like, dough-like smell, rather than a sort of rotten, putrid smell. <laughs> so I think people are often worried with anaerobic ferments that you're going to get putrid um, products. But if you do them properly and you put the right materials in, um, it's really easy to keep them in a in a uh, in a state which is you can you can sense with your smell and your touch and your taste that it actually hasn't gone putrid. Mm -hmm. um, so this is the sort of stuff that we teach on our courses. Am I am I okay to do a, a shameless Absolutely. plug? Yes. Okay, shameless plug <laughs> warning coming up. Um, so at Ragman's we run um, one day courses on, on making your own preparations and also a six day course with Hiro Restrepo um, and that is normally in midsummer. So check out the website for our courses or buy the book which is called The ABC of Organic Agriculture available through the website. There you are, that's my shameless plug. <laughs> Brilliant.